Our, uh, we're, we're still on the road to uh, Fresh Cruces, and um, this is just a little, a little hut, um, some abandoned houses along the way. Now, we're about an hour outside of Copia Po, and um, this is an elevation of 6,000 feet. So we've come 6,000 feet from the coast, or 5,000 feet, really, in the space of uh, about an hour and 15 minutes. You can see we, we rise pretty rapidly. Anyway, uh, the road is right over here. And uh, we've got about another, oh, what do you think, Pat, another two hours to the pass. Uh, the pass is about 13,000 feet, a little over. And that's where we'll have our first uh, view of Fresh Cruces, see how much snow is there and so on. So uh, we'll stop again and take some pictures uh, there. Now right here, it's a nice contrast, you can see, with the, the shrubs and the trees. Uh, there's some pepper trees, like are so common uh, back in Livermore and parts of California right behind Pat as he's taking these pictures, but this offers a nice uh, contrast, the color, the green, with the surrounding uh, hillsides and so on. And it's, um, it's really pretty nice. Well, here we are at uh, just below the pass, uh, above uh, Laguna Santa Rosa, which you see uh, in the lower, back, uh, lower background here. And of course, an excellent shot of uh, Tres Cruces. Uh, the Tres Cruces, the, the, the southern peak on the right of the skyline, is uh, 22,153. Uh, the central peak, the next peak over to the left, is uh, 21,713. Now the route we're going to take is uh, going to go right up uh, between the two peaks, up the couloir to the call between the two peaks, and then uh, climb uh, to the to the summit of the central peak. Now there's quite a bit more snow here than uh, usually seen in the past, quite a bit more, other than the first time I came here about eight years ago. But certainly less than uh, Patricio and I saw in March. I mean, March, this thing was just, remember Pat? It was just absolutely covered all yeah. around the peak. Uh, now the lake below us, uh, Laguna Santa Rosa, we'll take, up, we'll take some closer shots pretty soon, but there's flamingos down there. I hope there's some. I can't see any from here. But uh, hopefully they've, they're, they're, they're on the lake and we can get some uh, great pictures. And uh, there's a little refugio there that we'll be staying at. We'll get some shots of that. Okay, it's a very, very nice day today too. This is a home repair as conducted by Gary. This is a new TV series. Repairing the old uh, hut here at uh, Laguna Santa Rosa. And there's of course, uh, out of the uh, distance. Got, got some clouds over it right now. The back to the hut. Mr. Fix it here. Excellent job. Uh, Home repairs, eh? Yeah. Charge a good price. Uh, the problem is that uh, the uh, structure that was in here before was letting too much wind into the hut, so Gary devised a way to uh, seal it out. Great job, Gary. Yeah, whatever works. Have to make do with you tools. And you can see uh, the truck, and there's Gary over there waiting for the truck. Nice little hut, as you can see. And if we look out toward Thresh Cruises, the lighting is terrible, but uh, this is a pretty cloudy day, and it's uh, rather windy right now, so uh, we're sort of wondering about the conditions. But, uh, you know, we're just going to have to check it out over the next uh, several days. Okay, here we are uh, near to, we've, we've left. Laguna, and now we're up uh, oh, close to just under 14,000 feet, and the International Highway to Chile and Argentina is right behind us, and we're looking at, uh, right in the center here is the central peak of uh, Tres Cruces, and that's at uh, 21,713, and then to the right is the southern summit at 22,153, and you really can't see the route that we're going to take, but if you look around to the right here, we're going to skirt this area here and then move to the left to put in the base camp. Now, it's a little chilly here today and there's, uh, there's some clouds. Uh, the weather's been sort of, uh, sort of weird here for the last couple of days. We've been watching from the lake. But we're going to see how it, uh, how it goes. 
at 15.5. Uh, we got in, uh, where did we get in yesterday? Yesterday, Gary? Say again? We got in yesterday? Yeah, uh, day before yesterday. Day before yesterday. And uh, so we're settling in here. And uh, so you can get a perspective of where we are. This is looking down slope. And uh, if you look off to the distance there, a white patch way out in the distance is uh, Laguna Santa Rosa, where we spent a couple of nights. You can see there's quite a bit of snow up here. It's been uh, fairly cold. It's really warm today. And uh, looking up slope, there is uh, Tres Cruces uh, Central on the left, and there's uh, the central peak on the right, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the southern peak on the right. Now today we're just going to take a stroll up to the right of these pyramids and try to look around the pyramid to see what the snow conditions are like before we make our uh, first carry tomorrow. So uh, I'm going to take the camera up and try to get some shots uh, as we're climbing up today. Quite a lot has transpired since the last time I took a shot. Uh, Gary and I <coughs> tried to get up the mountain, but it's uh, there's too much snow and ice up there, and we just can't put place the proper camps. I'd like to say something about this climb. I'm not going to go into it real deeply. The problem was not a lot of snow and ice. That's what I said on camera, but uh, actually there were th some things going on in the background, so I decided we're just going to call off the climb. So I'm not going to go into the details, but it wasn't a matter of too much snow and ice. So uh, we came back down, and uh, Saturday, a couple of days ago, <coughs> we, uh, uh, we came back to base camp. Sunday, uh, yesterday, we walked out, and let me uh, bring it back. We walked uh, down slope here, and you can see uh, way off in the distance, you can see uh, Laguna Santa Rosa. But we walked down slope here with uh, some of our gear and hit the International Highway, which is off in the distance there, you can barely see, and then uh, walked uh, part of the way until we finally got a ride. From there, we went to the uh, custom station, and from there, we called Patricio. So today is uh, Monday, and Pat has come to pick us up, of course. We've come back up slope here to pick up all our gear, and now we're going to be returning to Copiapo. We're, uh, of course, we had to uh, truncate this trip by a full eight days or so, but the conditions are such that uh, we really can't uh, we can't do any meaningful climbing. So that's pretty much it. I mean, you can, here's a good shot of uh, <coughs> of the central peak, although the summit is the, the one in the back just barely peeking around on the right. And then uh, you can't see the cool wire from here because of this pyramid right in front. Then you have the central peak. That was the one that we had intended to climb. That's it right in the center. And uh, you can you see all the snow out here. I mean, there's quite a bit of snow. Uh, it's not as much snow as when I was here in March, but still quite a bit of snow. So we're going to be taking some other pictures as we go back uh, to Copiapo. Well, here we are coming down uh, down for base camp. This is featuring the driving skills of Patricia. <laughs> and uh, this is all off-road driving, as you can see, and it's... Uh, Right here, this, uh, this is pretty smooth stuff right here, but this is normally not what we encounter on some of these peaks. I mean, there's a lot of rocks and everything around, and it's pretty slow going. But uh, once you get off the road, sometimes it can be rather easy to negotiate, but most of the time it's uh, rather difficult. Well, we're uh, traveling... Uh, the road toward uh, the Maricunga uh, custom station. And here, uh, out the side of the truck, you can see uh, the body Maricunga Salar, which is a dried lake bed. There, these dried lake beds are pretty common out here. And uh, in way in the distance up there is the uh, custom station, and we'll get more scenery of it up there as we get closer. And then the uh, the police live off to the side here. They have to be doing a lot of construction on the roads around here, and so there's a lot of construction workers too. And uh, we've already been checked through, so we're, we're just going to go off to the side here. We're going to leave some food for the for the police. They were so nice to us, so we're going to leave some stuff for them.
and we're looking back at uh, this is a great shot of uh, Thresh Cruces and you can see the big uh, cloud uh, buildup you know behind the mountain that's in the north northeast so uh, but it's a beautiful sight